practice examples are best way of learning say there is 3.5 kg of sugar my mom wants to make five different dishes and for each dish she wants to use equal amount of sugar how much sugar would be used for each dish 3.5 divided by 5 remember rule 1 first we need to lose decimal from the divisor here divisor is 5 so no worry 3 but 3 is smaller than 5 so we need to take the next digit 2 that is 5 remember rule 2 whenever you go across the decimal you have to put decimal point in the result that is in the quotient here we are taking the digit after decimal so we need to put decimal in the quotient here so 35 divided by 5 just like simple decimal 7 times 5 is 35 35 minus 35 is 0 problem solved so 0 0.7 kg sugar would be used for each dish now what if the divisor has decimal 2 like you have 14.4 liter of juice you are serving it in 300 ml glasses means 0.3 liter in each serving we know 1000 milliliter equals to 1 liter so 300 ml means 0.3 liter so how many people can you serve 14.4 divided by 0 0.3 we have to lose decimal point from the divisor understand the logic behind it we can multiply numerator and denominator of a fraction by same number isn't it if we multiply up and down by 10 decimal would shift to right by one place if we multiply by 100 decimal would shift to right by two places if we multiply 0.3 by 10 0.3 would become 3 we lose the decimal so 14.4 would be 144 it becomes 144 divided by 3 4 times 3 is 12 4 comes down 8 times 3 is 24 so so we can serve 48 persons so remember rule 1 first we have to lose decimal from the divisor this time let's take a harder example there is 12.25 kg of a very expensive spice a person sells it as pack of 25 gram well it is very expensive 25 gram means 0 0.025 kg isn't it 12.25 kg divided by 0 0.025 kg 25 gram is equal to 0 0.025 kg because 1000 gram equals to 1 kg so 25 gram is equal to 0 0.025 kg so how many packs can we make we can multiply up and down by 10 100 or 1000 etc to make the divisor whole number decimal point moves by same number of places in both numerator and denominator as we multiply both by same number so basically if we move decimal by three spaces in divisor we do same in the dividend but there is only two decimal places in the dividend we can add a zero at the end after decimal means 12.25 is same as 12.250 this zero doesn't matter so we multiply up and down by thousand means we move decimal by three spaces in both numerator and denominator 12,250 divided by 25 so now it's a simple division 12 is less than 25 so we take 122 to start with 4 times 25 is 100 122 minus 100 is equal to 22 5 comes down 225 by 25 is equal to 9 because 9 times 25 is 225 0 comes down 0 times 25 is 0 so answer is 490 
so he can make 490 such packs each having 25 gram that is 0.025 kg first lose the decimal from the divisor for that move decimal point by equal number of spaces in both numerator and denominator that means if you are moving decimal point by three spaces in denominator you have to do the same in numerator during division when you go across the decimal put decimal point in the quotient and practice is the key to perfection no tricks no shortcut so practice